Okay, guys, I'm nervous. I'm outside my element here, all right? This is my very first watch review video. If you wanna, I don't know if it's really a review, just a watch video, <laughs> okay? Um, so, uh, we're gonna be talking about this guy right here. It's the Timex Marlin reissue. This is a 1960s style watch or a 1960s model, the Timex um, re reproduced. Um, from their own specs and released a reissue of. Okay, so real quick, um, I know this is a knife channel, but I also have a watch collection. And um, I can't, watches and knives go together for some reason. A lot of people who like knives like watches. So I thought that I would go ahead and um, show a watch here and there from my collection. So I started collecting watches for real about two years ago. Um, as far as watches and my love of watches is concerned, I have loved watches ever since I was a little boy. So, um, and I've always had a couple. Uh, my collection never really got that big. Um, but up until about two years ago, I decided I would actually start no, putting together a collection. Now, I don't have any high-end watches, so if you're looking for Rolex, Omega, or you know, Breitling, or that kind of stuff, that's not me. Um, I act, I'm, I'm not wealthy enough. <laughs> um, I'm not wealthy at all, but I, I, you know, I, I'm, I like the budget stuff. I like affordable, good watches. Um, I think you can buy a really good watch for an affordable price, and it's, it's, it's really, really fun. Um, so uh, I like all kinds of stuff, digital, analog, you know, uh, automatic, quartz, doesn't really matter. I like it, I'll buy it. And uh, I never spend more than $500 on a watch. Um, however, I, there's one watch in my collection that I spent um, about $900 for and I bought it on my honeymoon and I will show that in a separate video. But Without further ado, I don't want to make this wicked long. Let's get into my first watch video. Let me get this watch off my wrist, and I'm going to talk to you guys about this watch first, okay? This is the Timex Marlin. I think I already said that, and you can see in the description. Okay, this is a reproduction or reissue of a 1960s era watch, and I have been looking for something like this for a very long time very long time um, because the watches of past eras you know like at least from like the 1910s all the way up to 1960s were smaller and um, you know the small simple watch the one that you would see on um, you know a soldier in World War One or World War Two um, or just a common person uh, or a businessman in the 1950s or the 60s those are kind of the watches that I wanted one of those so bad. Now, vintage models, they have a lot of problems. They're hard to find in good shape. If you have to get them serviced, um, it's, it's an issue. It costs money. When Timex um, had announced that they were doing a reissue of the Marlin, which is this watch here, I was like super psyched because this had all of those elements that I really wanted from a classic wristwatch um, of the first half of the 1900s, I was just super psyched. So I, I guess this model was really popular in the 60s. And um, this is a very faithful reissue of the watch. Um, you can take a look at that dial. It is like a, there's a lot of glare in here. And uh, there you go. It's like a champagne color. Uh, very shiny, which is just freaking awesome. Look at the numerals on this. It's got some Arabic no, uh, numerals that are in that very, it's very 60s-ish in, term in terms of its font. Um, and the size of this particular case is uh, 34 millimeters. And that is, um, you know, I got a small wrist, but you can see here, um, that is a really small case size for today's watches okay most watches today are you know at least above 40 millimeters um in case size especially the divers which i really love um it's hard to get a nice diver in a smaller size although you can find them but this type of dress 
uh, or sort of everyday watch. Um, to get it in 34 millimeters uh, with this classic design and look is just hard to find. And this is just so damn nice. Um, look at that domed acrylic crystal. Okay, look how that, look at that dome. It's domed up, so as a result, you know, you can see that really, it just it distorts the, the dial face when you turn it to the side. Um, but I just, I love the doming. Um, that's what the back looks like, pretty simple. You got some uh, hand winding movement. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Water resistant 30 meters, stainless steel case. And then um, I think that's a, Circa 2017, um, I guess that's when this watch came out. And model number, I believe. All right, so um, this has a hand-wound mechanical movement. So as you can see, the hand is sweeping, it's not ticking. Um, and that is because uh, this is a full mechanical movement. Now it's not an, uh, an automatic in the sense where when you move, there's a pendulum inside that r that winds the watch. Um, this you have to hand wind uh, every single day to keep it running. And I just love that. I love the interaction um, with your timepiece. You know, the, some people are, you know, would be like, you know, that's kind of a pain in the ass, dude. You have to hand wind it every day. I love that aspect. It just makes me appreciate the engineering and the design. And it's one of the things I freaking love about watches is like the different designs and the, and the engineering that goes into it. I mean, the movement in these things are just incredible. Uh, I'm fascinated by that kind of stuff. Now, um, as far as I understand, this has a pretty rudimentary mechanical movement, um, but it's awesome. Um, this one runs about um, a minute fast every day. So usually I have, which is you know not very good uh, for timekeeping, but it doesn't really bother me. I just, you know, I would say it's 30 seconds fast every day. That, that's probably the best way of putting it. Um, which, you know, these hand-wound mechanical movements, um, you know, if you get a really high-end piece, it's gonna be super accurate, but um, this, is a, this is a Timex. Now, um, these uh, go for around $200. On Timex's website, they are 208 bucks or $209, so it's not super cheap. Uh, it's definitely, you know, within the realm of affordability for watches. And unfortunately, they're not in stock. They are, if you go to the website, it'll say join the wait list because this watch is extremely popular. And I'm so glad I bought it when I did. Um, I think I bought it a couple of years ago. And it's very hard to find. Now, you can find them on eBay, but you're going to pay a premium. So I don't recommend doing that. Um, I recommend just waiting for them to come back in stock at Timex's website and purchasing it there. Um, band is leather. It's got this uh, like alligator style look, uh, skin to it. It's nice genuine leather though. Take a look at that. Um, I have just ordered a thin uh, leather NATO strap for this and I cannot wait to get it. I got it from Barton. I'll do a real quick video uh, when I get the strap and get it on this watch. Um, the lug width here is 18 millimeters, so it's a very thin strap. Um, and Barton makes some really nice straps. And there's this like suede camel brown um, leather strap that I got for this. And I cannot wait to get it on here because I'm actually not a fan of this alligator stuff. But um, this was very popular in the 60s and 70s. So it is, you know, time... Uh, period accurate so I'll take it off I'll save this band and I will put the other one on I'll make a quick video when I get that on here to show you guys anyway that is all I have for my very first watch video um, if you don't like watches and you just like knives and you don't want to watch this stuff I totally understand um, but I want to share my love of this particular hobby as well because I, I think it goes I think it goes great with knives all right thank you so much guys Greatly appreciated as always for coming by. Leave a like, subscribe. Let me know if you guys like watches as well or if you like the Timex Marlin um, or what brands, uh, budget brands do you recommend for me? Um, when I say budget, you know, like less than $500 for a watch because I very, very rarely want to spend more than that. Um, 500, maybe, 
maybe 600 is like super, super tops. However, I like to play around in the 100 to like $300 price range. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Till next time. Stay safe. Have a very good day. Talk to you soon. Bye.